Okay, so my long term that I did last year was on the analysis of blood glucose trends. I was interested in this long term because I am a type 1 diabetic, so it would apply to my life. My original question was how does hand sanitizer affect the accuracy of a blood glucose test? And I was interested in this test because doctors say it's more accurate to wash your hands rather than using hand sanitizer for a test. So my idea was to take a glucose tablet, which is four grams, and dissolve it into 250 milliliters of water to test the glucose reading with and without hand sanitizer. My claim was that the results would be skewed with hand sanitizer because the glucose wouldn't have the same concentration. The problem that I ran into was with the glucose tab, it wasn't soluble in water, so it wasn't giving me accurate readings to get a baseline to see any type of pattern. So this was the original process that I was going through. This was the glucose tablet, and this was it dissolved in water. Um, the foam at the top, and there were particles that you can't necessarily see in the picture, but they were there, um, were, weren't giving me an accurate distribution or an accurate reading. This was how I was testing it with and without hand sanitizer. This is the glucose meter, so there's a strip here, and I was putting it into the sample with and without hand sanitizer. And these were the results that I was getting. Um, all I saw was an upwards pattern in the readings over time, but the correlation between the normal reading and the hand sanitizer readings weren't showing me any type of correlation. So I had a claim that the tablet wasn't um, dissolving completely in the amount of time after I had let it dissolve to give me a pattern. So I thought that it would need to sit in the water longer before I could see a pattern. So this was after time. I let it set. I think it was about 30 minutes. Um, and then I tested them again with and without hand sanitizer. Again, I didn't see a pattern. And that's where I kind of came to the conclusion that the glucose tablet wasn't an accurate substance to get a glucose reading off of. So then I thought, what other substances can I use to get an accurate glucose reading? So I also had glucose gel and just plain sugar, sucrose and dissolved the, both of them in water. So this is how I was dissolving the um, glucose gel in water. I just put five milliliters of it in and were te was testing it with the same glucose meter. These are the results that I was getting from the gel. I did the tablet again just to get a comparison so I could see each substance's range of readings to see which one was more accurate. My claim was that the sugar was going to be the most accurate because it's the easiest to dissolve in water. However, it wasn't even picking up a reading on the glucose meter, which was telling me that I would need a lot more sugar to get a reading on the glucose monitor. And these are the results from my gel, which is in the red, which I found to have the smallest range. So then I used that for my further testing because I could get an accurate pattern off of it. So finally, I got to... a got to testing my actual question, and I was using the glucose gel because it had the smallest range. So I tested um, the rate of increase of the glucose readings with the glucose gel over a 45 minute, I believe, time period. So I tested it with just the glucose gel and with saliva to see how the breakdown of the sugar went over time with and without that. It was kind of just an extra thing that I threw in there. So this was um, the readings over time as the gel was dissolving in the water. So you can see at around um, 40 minutes, the sugar readings stabilized around 300 milligrams. So I was able to see that and recognize that I can use that 300 baseline to see a pattern with hand sanitizer then. So then I added uh, one sample of isopropyl alcohol and one sample of hand sanitizer to two of the same um, prepared solutions of the glucose gel and water and tested them to see if there was any pattern. So this these were the results that I got. So as you can see, the normal ones remained around that 300 baseline and the isopropyl alcohol and the hand sanitizer varied from that 300 baseline. So the conclusion that I was able to get was that the isopropyl alcohol and the hand sanitizer caused the readings to be inaccurate compared to the baseline, as I showed. And the, from the previous tests and the trial and error kind of things, 
I also had three other conclusions, which were that the glucose gel is activated by the saliva and causes the readings to increase quicker, which was shown in the previous graph. Oops. Um, right here, the yellow dots are with the saliva, so as you can see, they're kind of stabilizing at that 20-minute um, mark instead of the 40-minute mark without the saliva. And, oops. Then I also concluded that sucrose does not serve as an adequate food to raise blood sugar because five grams of it, as I was testing when I was trying to find the best substance to raise blood sugar, barely raised it past 20 milligrams per deciliter. So um, what that means for like a diabetic is if someone has a low blood sugar, just feeding them plain sucrose wouldn't get you very far because it doesn't raise your blood sugar that much that quickly. And the last thing that I concluded from this test was that glucose gel takes approximately 40 minutes to raise and stabilize glucose readings, which is also shown from that graph I just showed you before. So those were all my conclusions. Does anyone have any questions? We all here. We have time for a few questions, if you have any questions. Could you go back to the, uh, the last slide that you had with the uh, yellow dots? Right there. Um, now, uh, which solution is the yellow for again? The uh, isopropyl. Yeah, so the isopropyl alcohol starts down here, goes all the way up. As you can see, it's kind of all over the place. The baseline one was the uh, red, so that's the normal solution. And then the, and normal I think that's green. Means Just the gel in the water. Just the gel in the water, okay. Yeah. And why did you use the hand sanitizer? I'm sorry, why did you use isopropyl uh, if you had the hand sanitizer? Um, I just wanted to get like a difference between the two to see if like a more concentrated alcohol would affect it more. Do you know what the concentration of hand sanitizer is, by any chance? I do not. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. You said you were a type 1 diabetic. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you have high blood sugar or low blood sugar? Um, both. It means that um, so I do, my body doesn't produce insulin, so I have to manage my blood sugars on my own. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Coffin.